Okay, so we move on to the neck, and I check for swelling, any lesions, symmetry, and for masses. Great. Now let's test the range of motion. Okay. Can you turn your head to the right and touch your chin to your shoulder? Okay, and turn your head to the left, chin to the shoulder. Okay, back towards me. All right, now touch your right ear to your right shoulder. Like, yes. All right, and then the left. Okay, chin to the chest. Okay, into the ceiling. Smooth and controlled. Thanks. Okay, now we should palpate the preauricular nodes right here in front of the ears. Okay. Then the postauricular nodes behind the ears. Okay. Checking for swelling, tenderness, or hardness. Does that feel okay? Fine. Okay. Now some of these aren't palpable, right? That's right. Lymph nodes should not be palpable. That's a normal finding. Okay. Okay, now what, Anna? Uh, we move on to the trachea. Good. Just put your finger in the sternal notch and check to see that everything is midline. Okay. Good. Now the thyroid gland. You can actually use your index finger and thumb to find the key landmarks. Okay. And again, like the lymph nodes, the thyroid gland isn't usually palpable. And just so you know, if the thyroid gland is enlarged, you would auscultate for bruise. Okay, so I would use the bell of the stethoscope for that, right? Yes. The same as with the carotid arteries. We place the bell directly over the artery, but before you do that, palpate the carotid arteries. Okay, so one at a time? Mm-hmm. Bilateral palpation may reduce cerebral blood flow. Okay. All right, I feel both of them. Okay. So let me just take a listen here. Okay, look this way and hold your breath. Let it out. Let me check the other side. Hold your breath. No blowing or swishing sounds? Mm, nope. Okay. 